Today, we're going to be trying endangered species chocolate. These were bought at fr the Fresh Market. They were $3.99 each. So, I, they're all with dark chocolate. So, uh, caramel spiced apple, cranberries, orange, and cinnamon. And I have peppermint crunch. And let me just say, the smell coming all these is very strong, almost soap-like. You know when you get the soap smell it? They're, they're <laughs> very, very strong. Um, this is caramel spiced apple and dark chocolate. It is 60% cocoa, dark chocolate with organic caramel and spiced apple to evoke a warm fireside. Uh, it says 10% of net profits to save our wildlife. They're non-GMO verified. Uh, they are gluten free. It says, look inside to learn more about the polar bear and our promise. So this one. Mine's the pink one, emperor pink one. Oh, and this one, okay. So there are three servings in the container. So yes, you paid $4, but you're supposed to get three servings. So a third of the bar, one ounce is 170 calories. It is a dark animal. Let's see if there's any special symbol on the top of it or anything. Because uh, we've never, I don't think we've ever had this brand. Ooh. No, it just no says not really. Name or whatever on there. No, it just has like, it looks like a, a, a oh, branch. Like a, well, a line or something. A branch on a. Okay. So it has a big picture. Do we need a knife to cut these in half? Or do you want to take one and cut it in half? Or do you just want to bite it in half? Well, doesn't matter to me. So this one talks about the polar bear and it gives you all kinds of different facts about the polar bear. The whole sheet is pretty much, yes. well half the sheet is about the polar bear. So if you want to uh, use these as um, an educational tool, uh, if you are uh, teaching, then um, it tells you about the polar bear. Yeah. yeah. So what I will do at the end, I will try to take a picture of this. So that you can see exactly what it tells you because i already took a picture of the nutritional information and stuff like that but i personally think it's that's interesting mm -hmm. that they do that cool. okay it, that has some snap to it it does have some snap to it and it has stuff inside of it mm -hmm. You can taste the spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't get as much of it as you did. I think I just got a little bit piece of it. But if you want more, no, 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 I got a taste of it. It, it was good. It is good. The dark chocolate is very dark, though. Um, the dark chocolate didn't bother me. I was afraid. It's not overly bitter, but no. it is. But it is dark. With the spiced apple, it covers it. It makes up for the. It overpowers. I think the spice overpowers the dark chocolate, and so for me. It was there. It has that, it's kind of dry yeah, dark dry chocolate. Well. But the uh, darkness itself did not bother me at all because that spice was so strong. So strong. But I like that. Yeah. I thought it, think it's good quality. They used a lot of it. I don't know mm -hmm. that this is something, at least I, when I talk about kids, I think about my kids and what my kids eat. I don't know that my kids would eat this right now as adults, um, but I definitely, I don't know that this would appeal to little kids because of that spice. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids haven't experienced that uh, spice like that. Um, I think this is more of an adult uh, specialty candy bar. Yeah, it's, but it's good. I, yes, it is very good. But you have to, I think you have to like dark chocolate because like I said, I didn't get as much spice as you did. Um, so, I didn't get that overpowering. Well, how about you take the first bite of this one so that. No, it's alright. No, you no, can no. Bite it off. Just bite it in an angle or something. No, true. Ooh, wow. I smell orange. Oh, I can smell orange through the package. It was not. Wow. There was not even any question. I mean, some orange. Okay, so this one. I think they're smaller. This one is 160 These calories. These are smaller squares anyway, so you can just have your own. Oh, let's go. This is 160 calories for a third of the bar. And this it says, uh, look inside uh, to learn more about the thin horn sheep. 
So it has a picture of the fed horn sheep so you can get to, to see what he looks like in case you don't know. And it tells about their diet and how big they grow up to be. And it, male rams seldom associate with female groups except during mating season. That's interesting. So it, um, it's very interesting. So like I said, I will share a picture of that. So this one is cranberries, orange, and cinnamon. And it's also 60% mm -hmm. cocoa. It's very strong orange flavor. Mm -hmm. But I also get the cranberry flavor too. Didn't really get cinnamon. It says this citrus forward bar tastes like a sip of mulled cider in every bite. I could see that. I don't get cinnamon don't either. either. I'm sure it's there. If, we, if it wasn't there, we'd miss it. But For me, I mainly get the orange mm -hmm. and dark chocolate. Yeah, that's for me too. But I like it. Yeah, it goes good to go. Mm -hmm. It goes very well together. And I got um, cranberry. I got a little piece of skin. I'm sure if they had left out any part of that, then it, it wouldn't taste. Yeah, you would definitely miss it. But the main flavor you're coming out of this with is the orange yeah, which is good it's yeah. it's, it's that's very nice it is good. <clears throat> the last one is peppermint crunch and this one is the darkest this one is 72 percent cocoa the brisk bite of a winter breeze with crisp peppermint and velvety dark chocolate and this says uh look look inside to learn more about the emperor <coughs> penguin and this one is 170 calories for a third of the bar. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty strong too. So once again, you get a picture of the Small Emperor bird. Penguin. And it talks about... There's 18 penguin species. Kinda. Did you know there were different... There were 18 different penguin species? Yeah, you got the tall skinny ones and the short fat ones. Wow. Okay, these are these are very interesting though. I'm getting a crunch, mm -hmm. but I swear it's a crunch from the chocolate, not from the, the peppermint. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's almost a cookie crunch, not a candy crunch. I love the texture of it. Ooh. Way too dark for me. The texture is like a... I mean, you know you're eating chocolate, but it's almost like a cookie texture. It's almost like they... That's what I was saying. That the peppermint's almost like cookie. Yeah, it's like they ground up a cookie in there. But and it, so the texture you get while you're chewing it is a cookie texture. So you like the... Mm -hmm. I, it reminds me of eating coffee grounds. It's kind of that... Yes. Yes. Yeah, I don't like it. Now, I think... Way too dark um, for me. So we had peppermint, and then mainly orange, and then mainly... I do have to say the peppermint apple. is a good peppermint. It's not too pasty or yeah. anything like that. It's a good peppermint. Yeah. I, but that, it's not sweet like a, a, a candy cane, though. No, it's... Well, because it, it's dark chocolate. I think it's yeah. because of that dark it's chocolate. Very, very dark. Uh, see, now that one's my favorite. Oh, really? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'll, uh, because for me, they're all good. For me, it needs to have that overall everything, like the texture, the flavor, everything. And that, uh, that, that texture, that cookie like. And see, that puts me off, so. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> so that one, for me, uh, would be my favorite. Yeah. Um, I'd probably do the caramel spice apple. Really? Because yeah. I like the orange one next. No, really. I mean, I like, I like the spiced apple, but I yeah, think it I like the dark chocolate, chocolate up the orange. Most, so. Oh, did you? I like that chocolate orange uh, flavor. It was good. I think that's really that good. That was good too. Yeah. So I hope you can find these uh, wherever you shop. Uh, like I said, we found them in the fresh market. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure I've seen these other places before. Yeah, um, I think so too. But I yeah, I'm, I, it seems like once I bought these at fresh market, that I may have seen them somewhere else. It could have been Whole Foods. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but just look around, and if you like dark chocolate, these might be something you're interested in. Mm -hmm. They're very, very, um, I think, 
special to the season. These aren't flavors that you would get all the time throughout, during the year, but these might really put you in the Christmas spirit if you get one. And, and I think if you so. like dark chocolate, then these would be good because these have dark chocolate, but they also have another flavor that's powerful enough to where you can taste it. Yes. Whereas a lot of dark chocolate kills the flavors, these don't. So, right. So it's a good mix. But you do need to like dark chocolate. Oh yeah, you better like dark chocolate. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.